Have you ever wondered how China manages to raise billions of fish every single day? This monumental achievement is not just a result of massive production, but a seamless blend of modern technology and the tireless dedication of the millions of farmers. However, with such impressive figures come inevitable questions and debates. Is this scale of production truly sustainable? How does China balance increasing yields with environmental conservation? Today, we'll uncover the secrets behind China's colossal aquaculture industry, from advanced recirculating systems to innovative solutions for environmental challenges. Join Farm Marvels to explore these fascinating insights. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with more amazing content. China's aquaculture industry dominates the global market, producing over 60% of the world's farmed fish, equivalent to a staggering 50 million tons annually. This includes iconic species such as grass carp, tilapia, and barramundi. With more than 4.3 million workers employed across the value chain, from pond management to export processing, the industry supports a significant portion of China's rural economy. In 2023 alone, China exported $21.3 billion worth of aquatic products, meeting domestic and international demands across over 140 countries. From vast freshwater ponds in Guangdong to innovative marine farms along the Zhejiang coastline, China's aquaculture isn't just about volume. It exemplifies technological advancement and efficient farming practices keeping the nation at the forefront of the global seafood industry. What sets China apart in the aquaculture industry is its adoption of cutting-edge technology. At the heart of this success lies the Recirculating Aquaculture Systems, RAS, which allow for 90% water reuse while maintaining precise control over water temperature and quality. These systems create ideal growing conditions for fish while significantly reducing water consumption. In Zhejiang province, farms employing RS have reduced water usage by over 40% and increased fish survival rates to 95%. Another groundbreaking innovation is Integrated Multitrophic Aquaculture, IMTA. This method involves farming fish alongside complementary species like seaweed and shellfish. Waste produced by the fish becomes nutrients for other organisms, creating a closed-loop system. In Fujian province, IMTA has reduced waste discharge by 25% and boosted seaweed productivity by 30%. Additionally, automated precision feeding systems powered by artificial intelligence monitor fish health and adjust feeding schedules accordingly. This minimizes leftover feed and improves the quality of fish, reducing reliance on antibiotics, a contentious issue in aquaculture.
While the scale of China's aquaculture is impressive, it also brings significant challenges. One major issue is nutrient pollution, caused by uneaten feed and fish waste, which increases nitrogen and phosphorus levels in water bodies. This leads to harmful algal blooms, threatening aquatic ecosystems, and reducing water quality. In Guangdong province, studies reveal nitrogen and phosphorus levels exceeding safe limits by 15% in certain areas, highlighting the urgent need for better waste management practices. The introduction of non-native species such as salmon has also sparked ecological concerns. These species often outcompete native fish, disrupting biodiversity and threatening the balance of local ecosystems. Social pressures also arise, particularly in coastal areas, where aquaculture farms encroach on residential spaces. Complaints about water and air pollution, as well as land use conflicts, have become common issues faced by the industry. China has undertaken several measures to address these challenges. Farms in Zhejiang have implemented biological filtration systems, which have successfully reduced nitrogen and phosphorus levels by 30%. This technology not only purifies water, but also enables it to be reused across different ponds, minimizing resource wastage. Advanced AI monitoring systems are being adopted to track water quality in real time, resulting in a 20% reduction in pollution within a year of implementation. Public education programs in Fujian province have also raised awareness of sustainable farming practices, fostering community cooperation. The Chinese government is promoting the expansion of IMTA systems and exploring innovative solutions like vertical aquaponics, which optimize land use while significantly reducing environmental impacts. These efforts align with the nation's vision for sustainable and efficient aquaculture practices. China's aquaculture is not only critical for its domestic market, but also essential for global food security. With the global population expected to reach 9.7 billion by 2050, the demand for affordable, protein-rich seafood will only increase. The average Chinese citizen consumes 36.2 kilograms of fish and seafood annually, underscoring the industry's role in meeting nutritional needs. Moreover, China's exports reach millions of households worldwide, making its aquaculture a cornerstone of global seafood supply chains. Beyond production, China is also a hub for research and training, sharing its advancements with other nations to promote biodiversity conservation and sustainable development. China's aquaculture industry represents human ingenuity and resilience. It is not just a story of impressive numbers, but also a testament to overcoming challenges through innovation and determination. From reducing environmental impacts to advancing sustainable practices, the industry is paving the way for a brighter future. What lies ahead for China's aquaculture? One certainty is that it will continue to play a pivotal role in shaping the global seafood industry. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Farm Marvels. Let's continue exploring the incredible world of agriculture together. See you in the next video.